Did you know that 22 Japanese samurai visited Mexico in the early 1600s? Japan in the late 15th century was seeking to trade with the powerful and wealthy Spanish Empire, thus employing the services of Hakesura Sunanaga, a samurai from the Date clan to negotiate a trade deal between the two countries. He was tasked with establishing trade with Spain and receiving the blessing of the Pope in order to bring Christian missionaries to the Japanese people in what was then known as the Keicho Embassy. Along his travels through what was then called New Spain or modern-day Mexico, he encountered various native tribes and cultures across California, the coastal port of Acapulco, Mexico City, and Cuba. As travel in those days was much slower than today, he and his entourage of samurai stayed in Mexico for months exchanging Japanese clothing, iron, food, and other goods for Mexican silver. As their extended stay lasted for months, it was recorded that many of these samurai had relations with women across their journeys, leaving behind dozens of mixed Japanese children in the process. As a matter of fact, it is recorded that if you come from a Spanish-speaking country and have the last name Japon, then you likely are a descendant of one of the members of these ancient Japanese warriors. However, to Tsunenaga's dismay, Christianity and trade was not achieved as Japan was going through a period of isolationism which shunned contact with the rest of the world for over 265 years, unfortunately ending a rare interaction between Mexicans and Japanese. Japanese samurai. Regardless, it must be stated that the connection between modern day Japan, Mexico, and Latin America as a whole has been relatively positive. So much so that both Mexico and Cuba have honored these samurai by erecting statues of their likeness. In the end, this moment will go down as one of the most unique in Mexican history.